One on one with Jane. I'm your host, and today I have Mary Beth Lauer on my show. She actually reads cards and does a good job doing tarot card reading. So, what actually got you into that? Um, the spiritual awakening told me to get some cards, and all of a sudden I could reach out. So, I'm gonna read your career well for you. Yeah, um, go ahead. Do three of your three of your let's do three of your present and then three of your future. Okay. Go ahead. All right, spirits. One more. Two more. Okay. Again, remember, it's funny. The lovers again. The ace of materials again. The same way you had before. This talks about um, using your intuition to discern um, where you're going to put your efforts. See, there's a point there. Um, because she, no matter what, she's going to be abundant because she has all of this, um, you know, beautiful flowers. She has abundance. She, anything she touches is going to turn to gold, basically. If she can speak her truth about something she's passionate about, speak her, her darkness or, or her good to a lover, because right now you feel like your cup's empty. Okay, that's right now. Now, you see your future. These are future cards. It's showing her future. This is uh, the projected energies. That's what I do is I read the energies for that. So it's whatever energy is supporting you right now. Okay? So um, this is the energy that's supporting you right now that's going to propel you into the future is what I'm going to read. If you stay on course. Okay, so show me that please, Spirit. A couple more. A couple more. Thank you. Alright. What did say? Okay. Alright, now this is a card of intuition. This is a card of being alone, feeling alone, but knowing that you are um, highly connected to the spiritual realm. And this is somebody who isn't speaking of their truth either. Uh, you can't see this on camera, but our throat's going the other way. There's the other lines. Very symbolic for somebody who can't speak the truth. Who feels like they can't voice their opinion on a situation that they feel very passionate about, very emotional. This is the ace of emotions. This is, um, this is like a kind of to a kind of emotions is that you use like building up the sides it's like almost like a volcano you love share and that might erupt it might erupt um but just know that this is divine timing everything happens now uh, our time this time we need to never forget that um but you need to go uh inward to those things that you love as a little girl and that's where you're going to get your inspiration from that fire um whatever is stopping you this is how you unblock it. And it's night of emotions. Nice to talk about somebody moving towards something that they're passionate about. Okay, it's something that they're emotional about. This is you moving towards that situation. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you passionate. Why? Because this is a cycle. It's a karma. Sometimes um, we go through things for a long period of time. And it, um, it's based off the source system. So, uh, whatever cycles that we are learning our lessons from, we will repeat those cycles, different faces, different, little bit different situations of a job, same situation though. So, same idea, same lesson we're not learning, or same cycle that we're repeating. So, you're getting off it. 
you're doing something different. Something's changing your completeness. The world card means um, coming to an end and a starting of a new. So whatever energy you were in, it was propelling this. You are moving out of that. You're moving out of that energy and something I feel is a lot better for you. Okay, mm-hmm. but you, the, the must be your truth. Must be your truth. And again, it's clarified at the bottom of the deck is overall energy. This is the queen of swords. This is the queen of somebody who needs to speak her truth. She's cut throat. She tells it like it is. She is sure. Yeah. She, you know, she, this is her. And she speaks her truth and she doesn't care if she's fat. And that's the energy that you need to embody in order to complete that thing. Okay, thank you. And, um, and, um, so, um, do you actually, uh, cover all this for your friends or people you know, or, uh, just, uh... Yeah. So, generally, I, you know, this, I started relatively soon. I mean, it was only, like, three or four weeks ago that I started feeling comfortable, confident enough in myself to reach for other people. Um, but now, yeah, I'm trying to spread the word as much as possible. I use my Facebook. Uh, friends around town. Yeah, uh, where do we find um, you on Facebook? Um, uh, what could people f- find you on? Exactly, Facebook or Instagram or both? Or say you're. Um, um, I'm, I'm on Facebook and I started a YouTube channel. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not going to technology, but work with me. My Facebook is Mary Beth Lauer, M A R I B E T H L A U E R. Um, yeah, you can find me there. Shoot me a message. I'm going to try to set up a web page just for this. Okay. Um, and over there I can give that to you later. So. You could also do that on, um, if you have a Gmail, you could do that for on Google Blog. You could do that free. So uh, I tried to help someone out with it. He didn't know how to do it about two, three years ago. And I said, this is a link. And I said to him, he didn't yeah. understand. So there's a way to do it off of, um, it's a blogger. Like I have one for now. And there's another yeah. one too, uh, Square, Square something it's called. But that's for you only for about a month. Well, thanks for tuning in and welcome to One on One with Jane. Thank you.